Pagil here with our next AutoCAD video. And for this video, I will be showing you how you can go about getting the list of commands that you would have done for any specific drawing in AutoCAD. Please note that you have to get this command list um, when you would have just completed the drawing because if you close the drawing, Leave it, leave it closed for a while and then reopen then you might not be able to get the command list alright so you should get the command list just after finishing whatever drawing it is that you want to get the command list for so for example let's say that I did this drawing here so I have, I have a drawing of a box so I do a line, a next line I do that line, I do that line and then let's say I wanted to dimension the box so I click on dimension I click on dimension and I um I want to dimension like two sides or something like that so I dimension this side and um I dimension this side here then uh, let's say I see that the dimensions are too small so I want to make the dimensions bigger um and stuff like that so I do something like this and uh, I change the dimension all this that I'm doing right now isn't necessary in getting the command list I'm just doing this so that I um could have could have completed a, a number of commands so that you can see these commands in the command list when I bring the command list up. All right, so I would go to modify the. I would go to modify so I can make the text bigger. So let's I want to make it like ten or something like that. So that my so that the dimensions be bigger. All right, so now my dimensions are bigger and all of that stuff. All right, so let's see. That's that, and that's what I want to work with now. And let's say I want to bring up the command list for this drawing. All right. So what I'm going to do is to type <coughs> copy, and I'm going to select copy history. All right. Copy H I S T is a shortcut. And then I'm going to right click. I'm going to go clipboard paste. And then when I go clipboard paste, it's going to bring up like a little box, like a like a rectangle right here all right and then i just click where i want my command list to be so let's say i want the command list to be here so now what this gives me is the list of all the commands that i would have used in completing the drawing right here all right and we can look through all right so we firstly we selected a line and we drew the line and all of that stuff and then after we completed the join of the box we, we would then went to dimension right this command the dimension and then we um started out the dimension and stuff like that um we went into dimension and we changed the distance and everything so yeah, all the information is here about what i did to complete this drawing now sometimes um you will be asked for your command list to ensure that you did not just get your drawing from you know off the internet or from a classmate or something like that or from someone else but that you actually did the drawing all right so if you ever need to get your command list this is how you would go about getting your command list all right so thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful if you did find the video helpful please drop a like that would be massive and also a subscription would be nice as well all right so have yourselves a wonderful day